Hmm. I think I'm live, guys. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Jacob here. And I am going to... <laughs> I'm live streaming this even though it's first private and then we're going to make it live. So give me a second to just sort out and control if I'm actually really recording this new techniques I'm trying out, which means that mm, it takes me a couple of seconds to actually get really into it. I see myself. Okay. I should be really there. All right, guys. So my top of the month of December 2017, five fragrances. So the top five perfumes for the month of December 2017. This is the countdown. I am thrilled to be filming again. Um, my video editing school is still going on, and it's it's a roller coaster ride. I have less and less time for myself, really, and I have no social life. Basically, that that's what I do, and, and I'm so great grateful to my own inner energy core that kind of like some from time to time finds the the right energy to actually you know be ready concise precise focused and positive and energetic to film so let's get straight to it the first one um this is kind of you know fresh interesting um, floral i know i know it's december and i know that in a lot of parts of the world it's really cold in other parts of the world uh it's really warm but for those parts of the world where it's really cold, usually you wouldn't tend to use Gris Montaigne. And um, probably going to be hard to see it. Gris Montaigne doesn't exist anymore. Actually does. The name doesn't exist anymore because there is some legal controversy going down with Dior. So the Montaigne as street or boulevard or avenue or whatever it is cannot be used at the moment. So Dior changed the name of the perfume from Gris Montaigne to Gris Dior, but it should be the same formulation and concentration. This one is almost empty. This one I use in the morning and it's, it's, it really contrasts cold weather for me. Um, it makes me, it doesn't make me feel warm. It makes me feel fresh in a positive, energetic way, like fresh in a way that I can conquer the day. It makes me feel fresh in a way that I can conquer the day. Oh, well, there you go, a little rhyme. It makes me feel fresh in a way that I can conquer the day. But also, it, mm, there's something in there. It doesn't make me think of um, the beach somewhere. Like, it doesn't make me feel, losing stuff here it doesn't make me feel like the opposite of uh of winter it doesn't make my mind go away from winter i'm still in winter i still feel what is going down around me but it just i don't know it it, it gives me a good mood it it gives me hope i think that's yeah that's the word it's a hopeful fragrance it gives me hope and the knowledge that or the reassurance that warmer days will come despite the fact that it's a kind of a disillusionment because it really makes you feel winter as well, but it just allows you to have that hope that that days will get warmer. Even though I'm not a huge fan of summer, but you know, I'm also, I'm not a fan of snow. So there, that's that. Sometimes if the weather is right, and I know I made a review of this one, um, in the past, I made the review of the Pure Parfum, and I was not a big fan of it. I kind of uh, rediscovered the Eau de Parfum and became a huge fan of it. I can't say I'm a huge, well, it's, this is a complicated story, but anyway, so I hunted this one down secondhand. McQueen, uh, the Eau de Parfum. This is like the smallest bottle because I really wanted to experiment with it. And uh, the bottle is almost, I'm almost done. Well, 30 ml, it goes fast. Wonderful tuberose, but uh, it's Coty. <laughs> we don't really like Coty. So anyway, this one is wonderful in the dry down. Um, soapy, yeah. Artificial in a way, yes. Uh, but on the clothes mixed with the skin, so if I put it on my chest and kind of it's also on the on the T-shirt, it really smells good uh, after a couple of hours, and it keeps going and going and going. It doesn't really stop. Longevity is great on this one, better than on the Pure Parfum. However, um, and I did like it very, very much. I'm all in, into tuberose these days. I am obsessed with tuberose. And even though I'm obsessed with tuberose, you're going to see Fracas, uh, Robert Piguet's Fracas is not one of the top five 
uh, for the month of December because for some reason, Fraka in this month does not nail it for me. It goes um, acidy on me. It goes pissy on me in a way that I, I don't like. I feel like Fraka for my skin and my own chemistry works better in somehow in spring, summer, but more spring. Um, this one, however, is more, it's heavy. I think the artificial ingredients, the synthetic ingredients in here make it I don't want to say headachey or headache inducing, but there's something cloying in there that um, is hard to get across. There's kind of a hill of something synthetic and you got to kind of cross that hill to get into a wonderful soapy clean meadow of tuberose after that hill, but you got to surpass that hill and that requires patience. And it's not always the best thing to have to deal with because you smell the synthetic in there, which I don't like. But I love the meadow after the hill. And um, if the days, if the morning, if the morns are humid enough in the morning, then I, I really like this one. If it's a very dry day, a very cold, dry day, then more in the evening. Otherwise, if it's more humid, I like it in the morning. Uh, but since I'm all into tuberose, well, we're gonna get we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. But let's take a break from tuberose for a second. Um, next one up is my love Sycamore, the eau de toilette, not the eau de parfum. I think I'm on my like fourth bottle, or I don't know what bottle I'm at right now. But but the eau de toilette is very light. So um, in summer days it stays a bit longer. In winter days it tends to disappear quicker from your skin. So um, so I have to say, Sycamore is something, you know, it, this is a heavy bottle, it's a 200 ml. I do have a 75 milliliter bottle as well, which if I use Sycamore on the day, I would take it with me to refresh. Longevity isn't a beast, but all these other toilettes are very toned down. They're kind of modest fragrances and that's the beauty of them as well. But there's that, that wet vetiver, soily earthy touch with some sort of coffee, tobacco as well and a lot of things mixed in there in the dry down that are just like ash like ashes like dry right after the heat has gone from the ashes there's you could still kind of feel the fire was there but but it's off there's no fire anymore and it's not it's not going to burn if you touch the ashes and they're so dry and powdery that's that's how how this one feels and i kind of really like that ashy dryness in humid days um, and then, of course, December is is a is a holiday month. I'm not big on all these holidays. I actually am really annoyed by them. But uh, for some reason or another, I wear it all year round. But December is really Chanel number no. five, the Pure Parfum. That's my kind of go-to Chanel Pure of of all of the Pure Parfums. This is the one I kind of really fall into. Uh, in December, so that one is kind of a must for me this this year at least. I don't know if it's going to be like that all all the years, the future years. Who knows? You never know what time brings. But for now, that's what it is. And now my tuberose obsession, number five, and this is uh, the ruler, the the king, the queen, the gender, the genderless ruler of of this month for sure. You have been telling me to try it out. And I have, and this is the first entrance ever on my channel of this brand and this particular fragrance from this particular brand. I've hunted this one down, also secondhand, uh, super expensive. So I was trying to find the smallest amount possible imaginable just to test it out. And I'm in love. And I found 10 milliliter spray bottle of the first Frederic Mal fragrance that I have on my channel. And here we got. Um, Carnal Flower by the Frédéric Mal Editions, or how do they call them? The Edition de Parfum Frédéric Mal. The perfume is composed by Dominique Ropion, or I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Dominique, congratulations, my dear. So basically, these are these are kind of refills for an even more expensive backlight container, which you know it's just a way to make you spend more money. Oh my God, took me a while. Well, we're almost halfway through this little vial of a bottle, as you can see. 
Um, and believe it or not, okay, so first of all, Carnal Flower states on their website that it has the biggest amount of natural tuberose used in perfumery nowadays. Now, first of all, Frederick Mal cannot know what other perfume houses do, how much tuberose they use in their fragrances. So that's a bit of a statement there. We don't really know. But whatever, let's give them benefit of the doubt. When I first sprayed this one, it didn't feel like tuberose at all to me. I just felt the coconut. I felt the um, the aloe vera. I felt the... Mm, some soapy, melony coconut concoction. Uh, tuberose kicked in later, but it was always balanced out with a bit of uh, gardenia, but mostly that that coconut. And something that is very reminiscent to me of a fig note. So it's like Philosikos from, you know, Diptyque kind of is there in the head notes for some reason to me, to my nose. Um, and so I was thinking to myself, where, it, where the heck is the tuberose? Why isn't the tuberose there? I want my tuberose, you know. But then you kind of have to understand and unlock it, um, sensorially speaking, where the tuberose is hiding within this labyrinth. And once you find it and you start making all the sensorial connections between the tuberose and all these other ingredients, you're in heaven. Longevity, it's a beast. It goes on for a day or two on me. And a friend of mine came into a room uh, where I was the other day and I wore it already for four hours. And she goes, Jacob, what is this in this room? Like literally I was at the bottom of the room. She entered at the door at the other end she's like what is this smell i'm like i i don't know i didn't spray anything in the room and then i started thinking with me is it can it be me after so many hours so far away from me i'm like well come come closer smell smell me she's like yes what is this tuberose and she got the tuberose immediately so so uh it's incredible even though and they hide it and frederick mal is hiding like what um, concentration is this? It doesn't say anywhere on the package because they call it, you know, um, the Edition de Parfum Frédéric Mal. It's kind of abbreviation EDP. You could kind of be tricked into thinking it's an eau de parfum, but no. Written only on the sticker of the actual vial in really miniature form, like you're going to need a magnifying glass to see it. At the bottom, bottom of the sticker, it says Eau de Cologne. So it's an Eau de Cologne the least concentrated of all the concentrations basically and they want more money than even chanel wants and then even hermes wants that even dior wants that anybody else wants for their exclusives in terms of ratio milliliter price per milliliter it's insane but i get it uh i choose to believe what frederick mal perfumes are saying that the tuberose is natural it's not synthetic um, giving him the benefit of the doubt, it works for me. It's incredible. It literally, this one takes kind of over all the other ones, really, at the moment. I don't want to say I found my signature scent because they always vary and change. But this one uh, is a keeper. And I'm going to, I guess, well, that changes all my theories about what's going to be my first official purchase, new purchase in 2018. It might be a big bottle of this one. Let's see if I get bored of it or not. But anyway, that were my, that were, yeah, those one, two, three, four, five top perfumes for the month of December. I think Carnal Flower definitely merits a full on review. I mean, you've got a lot of information for me already, what I think about it now here, but you know, you could kind of, I think there's a lot more to say about it. There's a, a lot of different trips and travels that it can take us on. Um, and I definitely think it warrants a review on its own, even though it's a very niche fragrance. And I don't think many, many people out there will be interested to hear uh, my thoughts on it. But for those of you who are interested, I will be doing a review of Carnal Flower as well. So um, for those of you who wish to support the channel, uh, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Or also, in addition to that, uh, in the description box down below, I have placed my Amazon affiliates link which you could follow and either, you know, browse through the suggestions I, I make on, you know, you could see which camera I use to film, lights, the microphone, the settings. Mm, there's a selection of DVDs, of Blu-rays, of, 
some music as well, uh, stuff I love, you know, a lot of cool books on Coco Chanel, my favorite ones, the ones that I love to read. But you can also just follow the link and purchase whatever you like, whatever interests you. Uh, the thing is, if you do follow this link and go to Amazon and then do whatever you want to do uh, and end up purchasing something you like, you don't spend a cent more than you would anyway for purchasing something on Amazon. But Amazon, to thank me for having led you through my link to them, would give me a percentage of, 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 of those profits, which, which is a great way to help out the channel and um, doesn't cost you anything. So thank you for that. Also, don't forget to thumb up this video if you haven't already. And let me know what your favorite five, six, seven, two, or one perfumes are for the month of December 2017. The next top uh, fragrances of the month will be in the new year. A lot of changes are coming up, um, as well as I have something to tell you guys. I also have a new haircut, by the way. I have something to tell you guys. Um, there's a secret. Some sort of secret will be revealed towards the end of this year. There's a big announcement coming up, and I can't wait to be able to share more with you. So thank you so much for that. Follow me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, Facebook, Super Deco all spelled together. I shall see you all very soon. Love you all, and never forget to never give up on love. Love you. Bye.